Today we're taking a look at Joypad by Zelle Applications. Joypad aims to provide iPad and computer control via your iPhone and iPod Touch. Now we've seen a lot of apps across our desk that provide virtual keyboard and mouse remote control functionality, but Joypad is the first uh, app that we've seen that focuses solely on game control, and it does a great job with it. When you first start up Joypad, you'll get a generic game control interface. Actually, five free incarnations range from two to six button setups, including a D-pad. Eight skin controllers are available via in-app purchase or via one purchase of the Joypad Elite app. Of course, you have your original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and Genesis controllers, but also a couple of obscure ones like Master System and Famicom. Now, what games can you play using the Joypad? Actually, the iPad supports a few, and hopefully more will be coming soon. Right now, Super Mega Worm, Meganoid, and Maz Speedrun are some of the notable titles. Launching Super Mega Worm on the iPad along with the Joypad on the iPhone will sync the two automatically with the proper button layout. The game worked flawlessly in our tests. Just make sure the iPad app is set to D-pad controls. Will more iPad games support Joypad in the future? Time will tell, but Zelle Applications has put the ball in developer's court by releasing their own SDK for easy integration. Moving over into PC and Mac territory, Joypad supports a number of games via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Simply speaking, if a desktop game supports keyboard controls, it supports Joypad. That's because you can set up the desktop Joypad client to map any keys to its interface. It also supports multiple editable profiles that can be saved according to the game. So if you're running a vintage game emulator on your desktop, you'll love the look and feel of the skins Joypad has to offer. We've appropriately chose a SNES skin for our time spent with Donkey Kong Country. Here we have made a profile to support the Mac App Store title Asphalt 6. We've mapped the right and left arrow keys to the D-pad and the brake accelerator keys to the B and A buttons respectively. The only downside we saw was in mapping a key that needs to be held down constantly. Our acceleration kept dropping, but this was more than likely due to spotty Wi-Fi than the Joypad app. We really feel that Zelle Applications has captured the experience of modern and retro gaming here with Joypad and Joypad Elite especially with the recent update adding so many familiar skins that we've grown to love. Hopefully iPad developers will step up to the plate and begin implementing Joypad controls into their apps. Until then, they're missing out on a great user interfa interface that, in our opinion, has more of an audience than other control interfaces like the expensive iCade. Due to its unique concept, various skins, and smooth gameplay, game Joypad receives our App Chaser's 5-star rating.